approximating distributions, continuity corrections. If you go from a discrete distribution, so that's the binomial of Poisson, to a continuous distribution, so that's the normal distribution here, we need to modify the probability by a half, and this is called a continuity correction. The reason for doing so is to improve on the approximation that we get. A few basic rules to remember. For less than or equal to, we add a half. For more than or equal to, you subtract a half. So that 10 minus a half gives you the 9.5 on this side. You'll see the arrows there are still pointing in the same direction before and after. For equals to, you add a half and you subtract a half. So 9.5 to 10.5. So after the continuity correction, this is the probability that you would work out. And for between two values, subtract a half on this side, add a half on this side. So you get 4.5 and 8.5. The equals sign on these inequalities here has no impact on normal probabilities. So we could equally well write the rules like this. You'll notice on the left hand side here in the discrete distribution we have an equal sign in every probability less than or equal to. It doesn't say less than, it says less than or equal to more than or equal to, equals to, yeah, more than or equal to, less than or equal to. So there needs to be an equal sign on this side before we apply a continuity correction. As an example, we're working out the probability that x is less than 8. Less than 8 is the same as less than or equal to 7. And now we have the equal sign in here. And less than or equal to means we need to add a half for the continuity correction. So we work out the probability of less than or equal to 7.5 in the normal distribution. But like I said earlier, this equal sign in the normal distribution doesn't really do much. So this is the same as having less than or equal to.